you guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Bye. 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 So today I'm going to do something a little bit different from what I normally do. I feel like my focus is normally on fashion and vlogs, but today I'm going to dive a little bit more into beauty and I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday natural makeup look. Honestly, I don't really wear makeup that often. Most days I don't put anything on. But if I want to like feel put together or I'm going out to lunch with some girlfriends and I want to feel cute, I'll just do a natural makeup look. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. None of the products that I use in this video are sponsored at all. This is just what I have found works best for me. So yeah, let's get started. Also a little disclaimer, I am in no way like a beauty expert or anything like that. I'm just showing you what I do for my makeup. I think it's really funny that I'm doing like a beauty makeup video because when I was younger in high school, I could not figure out how to do my makeup at all. Literally all my friends would have to do my makeup for me and I was never like really taught like the specifics of makeup so I'd watch a lot of videos on it and I just felt like I could never really master it. Um, so after lots of practice over the years, I feel like I'm definitely better at makeup. So I just want to put that out there that I am in no way a professional. Um, I probably don't do things right or how like you are supposed to. So if you have any tips for me, please let me know in the comments so I can continue to learn how to do my makeup better. Normally, I will start off with a moisturizer. I don't do that every time, but I found whenever I put a moisturizer on beforehand, um, my makeup goes on a lot smoother. So today I'm going to be actually trying something new. I'm opening the packaging right now. Um, no Beauty sent me this um, Energizing Day Moisturizer. And No Beauty is that new brand that Madison Beer and Vanessa Hudgens just launched. Which I'm obsessed with Madison Beer. So I was really excited that they reached out. Um, so this is going to be my first time actually trying this. Day moisturizer. Um, it has SPF in it, which is really nice because I constantly get sunburnt. I don't really know why because my skin tone is kind of like a olive skin tone, I guess you'd say. Um, but I still get burnt really easily. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that all over my face. Mmm, that smells really good. Love that for me. And I don't like to do a crazy amount of moisturizer just to cover the surface. It smells like, I don't know, it's kind of like, I don't know, actually, the smell, it's almost like, it kind of smells like a plant, but it also smells kind of cucumbery. Like, you get a whiff, and then you're like, ooh, this smells really good, and then the after is kind of like, mm, it's kind of iffy. So I don't know how I feel about the smell, but... It kind of feels like I'm just putting sunscreen on, so we'll see how my makeup goes on over this. And then I do a little fan, make sure it's all dry, nothing's left over. <laughs> so now that that's all rubbed in, I am going to add my foundation. Okay, so now I do my foundation. Um, this is probably the best foundation that I have ever used in my life. The coverage is insane. I mean, it's drugstore makeup, which is amazing. It's the L'Oreal Paris True Match Super Blendable Makeup. Um, I have it in the color Sand Beige W5. And honestly, this is too dark for my skin. Um, but I'm just too lazy to go to the store and find one that matches. So um, I just like blend it out really well on my neck with bronzer and then add a lot of concealer to my face. I used to use the makeup forever. And I liked it, that's what they use for like TV and film, but I don't really feel like it covered my face at all. Like I had a lot of blemishes still, it's super lightweight. This one definitely has a lot of coverage. Again, it's too dark for my face. Oh, I don't want to... Oh, you're seeing John's DJ set in my mirror. Um, but yeah, this is definitely too dark for my skin, I'm aware of that, so... Don't be coming at me being like, you got the wrong shade, it's too dark. I, I know it's too dark. I'm just, I'm really lazy. I also kind of lost my tan. So when I was tanner, I feel like um, it matched a little better. But the coverage on this is just, 
it's crazy you don't have to use that much and it like covers everything yeah you can already see like my neck and my face do not match but this is what we're working with right now so I also like to wet my um, beauty blenders before I put my makeup on so I just put it under the sink and I like squeeze it under the water and it gets bigger and I feel like that really helps my makeup blend into my face okay so now that we have foundation all over my face I'm gonna add my concealer which is literally out right now I'm like scraping the bottom um, but this is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. I'll do like that, like the beauty people do. Um, this is in the color 30CP. Let's add this concealer on. So I add the concealer in the corner of my eyes. Um, I used to do it like all over the front and then I saw it lifts your face better if you only do the corner of your eyes. Um, the inside and out like so and then I do my chin I cover any blemishes that I have which I have a lot over here and then I also add it in the center like so and then I do one down the middle of my nose a little nose contour and then I'll do a little right above my lip and then some right here on my nose and now we blend I tried that um NARS concealer that um a lot of people hype up I really didn't like it I don't know I just feel like maybe it wasn't a good match for my skin I'm not really sure but this Urban Decay one I've been using since high school and I'm obsessed with it so Okay, and then actually I'm going to leave the concealer that's on my nose and then add my bronzer because I just like blending it all together better. Or I just like blending it all at the same time. Um, but I just um, recently, well not recently, but like it's newer in my everyday use, um, is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. It's incredible. This is like the thing that was sold out. I'm sure it still is. Um, it's been sold out forever because Madison Beer talked about it in her like Vogue Beauty thing and it lives up to the hype for sure. So you go like this, it's like a little sponge thing and then I just apply it where needed. A little goes a really long way for this so wow that was a lot still. Do that and then these my baby hairs are like all over the place and then I go around my face like this a little over here to find the jawline and then I do my nose so I just go there's a lot on it right now so I'm trying not to do too much I go along the sides of my nose like that and then I go around and I kind of just do like that's a lot I kind of just do like a little circle like that and then I also do a little bit under my lip like that um I think that makes your lips look fuller I saw that trick recently on TikTok and I really like it so I blend it and like so okay now we're gonna blend the jaw I'm gonna kind of pull down so I don't look crazy okay so now we're gonna blend out the nose that nose looking snatched I like to kind of flip my beauty blender around as I go so it's not too cakey and I'm not bringing like any excess into areas that it shouldn't be if that made any sense whatsoever sweet so now my nose is all contoured a lot of the time I don't wear eyeshadow but um, there are days where I do a natural makeup look that I do wear eyeshadow so I'm gonna put just a little bit on um, I've been using this one recently it's from Clinique and it's literally just these two neutral colors so I'm just gonna take this brush and get some of the lighter color on it and then I just do that um, in my crease kind of bring it out to the side a little actually you know what I'm just gonna do it 
all over my whole lid and in the crease. Then I'm going to take a different brush and then I'm going to take this dark color and do it in the corner crease just to deepen the eye a little bit. So like if you can see on camera, it's just like a little bit darker on this side. Nothing too crazy. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of the darker color and put it under my eye like this and give it like a warmer look. Now you can see it kind of just like warmed the whole eye up. I don't do any eyeliner. I'm honestly just really bad at applying eyeliner and I feel like it makes my eyes look super small. Um, so that's why I do this next step. Um, so this is the, the Sephora collection and it's the retractable eyeliner waterproof. Um, and I got the shimmer cream color. So it's like a little cream eyeliner. And then I put this on the inside of my eyes to make them look bigger. So let's do that. I normally use my other hand to pull it down, but So now I have that on the inside of my eyes. They look a little bit bigger. So next is my favorite part and it is the blush. So I normally didn't even used to use blush actually. I would use like the powder kind. And I, sorry. And I just didn't really like how it looked. Um, and then I saw this recommendation. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand um, in the color Glowgasm. Or I think it's, it's Pinkgasm. Yeah, this is the pink gasm color, and I am obsessed. This is my favorite thing to put on. So, oops. it's the same as the bronzer, where you just squeeze and then it fills up that little puffy thing. Um, so I just put it where I would put my highlighter, and then the other side. And then this is a new trick that I learned, and I put it on my nose, and it brings like so much more life to my face. So I just go across my nose like that and it's like my favorite part of my makeup routine <sighs> and you can already see like my cheek is getting lifted and then I blend my nose I never knew about this trick of blush on the nose but I absolutely love it okay so now all of the blush is blended in so next, I'm gonna do my brows. Um, I already have really thick brows, so I just use this Benefit brush thing, and it has like a little bit of color on it. It has a brush, and you just like wipe it through your brushes. Or not wipe, you just comb it through your... What? <laughs> you brush it through your brows. That is what I meant to say. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush this through my brows. It doesn't really do anything crazy. It just kind of fills up um, the empty spaces. Like on the edge of my brows, they're kind of see-through. So this just colors them in super easy. So now I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and some bronzer and then just rub it all along my neck to kind of blend my miscolored foundation to my skin because I got it a little bit too dark. I just tried to look in this like it was a mirror. Okay. And then I take this brush and I just kind of go over my face like so. Nothing too crazy. Okay, well, I can't find my usual mascara. I think maybe I dropped it. I don't know. Um, I usually use the... <gasps> I've been holding it in my hand this whole time while I was just looking through my makeup bag. I need Jesus. So I use the Better Than Sex mascara. I mean, I've been using this since high school, so. I just put it on like regular. I kinda, at the bottom of my lash, I do a little shake and then I go up. <laughs> and then, um, hmm, for a lip, I don't always do a lip. Um, Reese, Whoa, I got black all over my fingers. Um, so normally, um, I'll just do like a chapstick or uh, something that's a little bit glossy. Um, but recently, I've been using the Pillow Talk lip liner. 
and I'm obsessed. It's super natural. It doesn't even look like you have lip liner on. And I just apply it to the outer edges and then I use my finger and I smudge it in and then put on like um like a gloss or a chapstick and it looks really cute. So I'm going to do just a little bit of that. Uh, but Pillow Talk lives up to the hype. The original one, not the like new. Uh, there's like medium shades and stuff. And then I fill in my um, Cupid's bow. I always want to say Widow's Peak to make my lips look a little bit fuller. Kind of fill in the bottom a little. And then I use my finger and I just go like that. Cute. And then I use this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Um, this is so glossy. It smells absolutely incredible and this is like a, a gloss I like to use. I know it's a sleeping mask but I wear it as a lip gloss. Rub it in a little. Voila! We're all done with my makeup. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the bell button so you're notified every time that I post a new video. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below. And thank you guys for your support. I love you so much, and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye, guys!